In 1854, there were living on the streets of New York City over 10,000 orphaned, abandoned children. Out of this desperate situation was born the orphan train. This is a fictionalized account based on historical fact. see them is when we feed them. We missed you boys. Where have you been the last couple of weeks? Selling rats. How are you, Tony? All right. Tony says we can't take the train because your uncle died. He was going to find us a home. I guess that won't happen now, huh? I'm sorry. Eh, uh, we're getting pretty good at catching rats. You don't have to catch rats to get money for food you can eat here. Tony won't come unless he has to. He don't like it here no more. Myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Hey, what's the rush? Slow down a bit. The guy's got friends. Let him say goodbye. Shut that boy up. Please, sir, just for a minute. Take them. You're my friend, and I want you to have them. Thank you. 
resident of Five Points, City of New York, age 15, having been found guilty of burglary and assaulting an officer of the law with malice and cunning and without remorse, the court has sentenced you to be hanged from the neck until dead. <laughs> a wonderful dream, didn't he? A train full of orphans heading west for homes and a new life. Evan Sims was a fine man. But he died too soon. He made promises he couldn't keep. He did everything possible. The children feel cheated. But a journey like that takes money and time. I can't go on giving those children a bowl of soup and sending them back into the streets. Forgive me, Mr. McGarity. But we can't keep looking the other way because we don't have the time or the money or because my uncle died too soon. No matter how many children we feed, it doesn't mean a thing if we lose a child like we did today. I stood there and watched a boy hang, and I couldn't do a thing about it. I don't care what it takes, I never want to feel that helpless again. I'm going to take those children on that train. Come on! Got you, you little beggar! I believe you owe this gentleman an apology. Apologies ain't good enough, Laura. You're a bunch of crooks. Oh, now, Captain Schmidt, give this pretty little girl a chance. She ain't never apologized before. Ain't she sweet? You'd be her first apology. Well. Please, no. Come on now, Sarah, you be nice to this gentleman. out west to find families. Away from here? Yep. That'd be wonderful. Thank you. Save it. We ain't got the train yet. Miss Sims, I cannot donate an entire railway coach. I run a business, not a charity. Now, you have received my bank draft. Yes, but what we need is... Miss Sims, you have received my donation. Yes. But perhaps you could... Excuse me, Miss Sims, but I'm a very busy man. 
Good day. You should have tried smiling. A pretty woman can get a lot more with a smile. Excuse me, Mr. Uh... Carlin, Frank Carlin. I'm a uh, photographer, uh, journalist. For the newspapers? Yes. Wait a minute, now. Don't be mad at me because Farrington said no. The newspapers said no, too. What is it you're trying to do that causes everyone to say no? I'm trying to take a group of orphans west to find homes. That's a good story. Where'd you get an idea like that? From my uncle. He was a minister of God. Oh, God sure as hell can't get your train. But I can. What did you say? I'm going to get you on that train. I want everybody to stay close together and follow me. Perhaps you better stay here and watch the mission. I can still take the children if you want, Miss Sims. Thank you for everything, Mr. McGarity. We'll miss you. <laughs> You'll do fine. You're in my prayers. Ready, children? Yes, Miss. Let's go. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're in a lot of trouble. I catch you running. I ain't gonna run. Not yet. <laughs> 